survivors, Mary Davis Wilburn has been recognized as the oldest living survivor. She will be celebrating her 102nd birthday on May 18, 1985. Hi, Mary. <laughs> How are you today? Oh, I feel good. You feel pretty good? Um, can you tell me a little bit uh, today about the Titanic and your disaster that you were in with that? How you feel about it? How did you feel about it? All the publicity you've received over the 73 years that you've been interviewed since the... Well, uh, <clears throat> I wasn't really afraid. I, I, I would just... People were screaming and hollering and <clears throat> children crying and... I had two babies. I was holding two babies. But... Uh, the sewage, when, when the Titanic uh, slowed down a little bit, the sewage came and took the children away from me, so I didn't have them then. Mm -hmm. But I just had a night down and a coat on, a pair of shoes. Well, let's kind of back up a little bit. You were 28 years old, right? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe, okay. You were Mary Davis at the time. You were not married yet, right? Uh, let me see. Uh, you married no, when you I, came no, to the United States? I married American. Mm -hmm. And this was your first trip, right, to the United States? Yes. And how how is it that you came to be on the Titanic? Were you originally booked for the Titanic, or did you have bookings for another ship? No. I just wanted to come to America. Mm -hmm. To visit or to live? Well, uh, it's a long time ago. I don't know whether I expected to stay here or not. I can't say. I really don't remember. Mm hmm Now, can you describe the Titanic for me? What did the Titanic look like? Oh, it's a beautiful ship, a great big... The floors, some of the floors is all glass. It's beautiful, the Titanic. And uh, <clears throat> did you you want to tell them how we, they woke us up in the stateroom? Well, all right. Why don't you tell us about what happened on the night of April 14th? You had gone to bed, or were you still awake? No, we were picked up by the Lusitania. No. Wasn't it? Carpathian, I believe, wasn't it? Pardon? The Carpathian? No, I think it was... A, was it? I don't know. I forget. Um, that night, when, when the Titanic struck the iceberg, uh, were you in your stateroom sleeping? Mm -hmm. As, uh, one of the men, one of the side of the worker, came along and he had a big stick. And he banged, banged, banged on, the, on their door and said, everyone uh, get up uh, into the, up into, onto the, up, up, on the, I forget the address where she, she said, right away, oh, the doors would be locked. And I remembered I got out of bed. I really had a lower berth, but I let another old lady take it. She couldn't climb very well, so I let her take my seat. And I got up on the tops. And I got down and I put, pulled on a pair of shoes and uh, I picked up my coat, a heavy coat I had. and. That's how I left the time. Oh, and uh, first of all, I gathered up a few vegetables that I had. And then I went back. Uh, I was outside the, the cabin door, and I remember going back in. And uh, uh, let me see there what. Uh, I, I know I, something I left. You had to get your Oh, I think it was I helped, I helped that old lady get up out of the uh, cabin, out of, out of her bed at birth, which I had given up to her, and I had gone up on top, up the top, and I climbed down, I helped her out, and I, 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 then, I then I went and pulled on a pair of shoes, uh, and reached up and got my big coat, and I put that on, and then I 
went up, up the stairs, up, up onto deck to. Mm -hmm. Did you have life preservers on at the time? Not then. Not then, but afterwards, uh, now let me see. Uh, I don't believe I ever had one on. I'm almost sure I didn't. Mm -hmm. When you got up on deck, what was going on up deck? Well, on deck? there was all kinds of people crying and some hurrying and calling people and children crying. And I know I picked up two, I sat down and picked up two little babies. And I sat there and held one in each arm and to, to the uh, stewardess that came aboard to help, she took them away from me. Mm -hmm. Now, Mary, how did you get onto the lifeboat? Uh, onto the Carpathia? No, onto the lifeboat while you were on the Titanic. And oh, we were on the Titanic. Well, uh, we, uh, we, they, uh, let me see now, I forget. Uh, you told me a story about they were lowering the Titanic, the, the lifeboat from the Titanic. Yes, that's And the right. sailor saw you there and thought you were such a little thing. That's that, it. That you Whatever could, it was, I forget. Uh, and he but, dropped you overboard? Yes. Into the lifeboat, right? Yes. And you hit your knees? Is that where you hit your knees? Was on the lifeboat? No, we were, we were, uh, we were put onto the Carpathia, mm -hmm. weren't we? Well, you first were in the lifeboat. Yes. Yeah. And then the Carpathia is the one that picked you up. Then, I, then the Carpathia picked us up and uh, gave us all something to eat. But we were all half naked, most of us. I had this big coat I had. I put that on over my nightgown, and I had a pair of shoes on, and no stockings or anything, just a pair of shoes. Mm -hmm. Now, Mary, could you, when you were in the lifeboat, you had about 20 minutes to an hour a wait before the Carpathian picked you up. Do you remember seeing uh, the iceberg, for example, or no? Do you remember seeing anybody famous while you were uh, on the Titanic, Mr. and Mrs. Strauss? I mean, was, all I remember was uh, a lot of crying and calling, people calling their re different relatives on the ship, and people crying and children crying. It was just a bedlam, like you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Did you see the Strausses at all when you were on board the ship? Uh, what I really think I did. Uh, to old people, they were uh, they stood they stood together holding one another after they got off of the offer they were picked up. And they stood holding one another, but I think they I didn't see the end of them because uh, the, the boat or whatever it was I was I was kept moving away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a long time since I saw that. That was 73 years ago. I kind of forget a lot of it. Yeah. But I came, I just had a nightgown, uh, my coat, my heavy coat on over my nightgown, and I pulled on a pair of shoes. That's all I had on. Mm -hmm. um, Mary, do you remember, there's always been a little bit of a myth and a little bit of a controversy about uh, what was going on when the lifeboats were, when the boat was sinking and the lifeboats were pulled away. Uh, many people believe that the band was playing a song. The yeah, band was playing. And I think the, uh, I what I remember was uh, uh, they, they played Near to My God to the I remember that perfectly well. But they played that on, they played that on the sinking Titanic. As the boat was going down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As the boat was going down. Mm -hmm. Now you were going to to uh, meet your brother-in-law in Staten, Staten yeah, Island, right? Yeah, yes, Mr. Langford, the mm -hmm. Langfords on, St on the, in Tottenville, Staten Island today. Mm -hmm. Is that I who you were? You were house. going to go visit? And my brother-in-law came. At, he picked me up at twelve o'clock that night, and took me. Uh, we got up, got, got up on, on shore, uh, near the, the train, whatever it was. And we got on the train and they and brought us into Tottenville. Not only me, but a whole lot, a whole lot of people. Mm -hmm. But he came and got me and took me, and I got home to my sister-in-law in Tottenville, Staten Island. That's where they lived. Mm -hmm. 
And that's who you were coming to visit in the United States. That's what I expected to stay until I made up my mind what I was going to do. I didn't know what I was going to do when I came here. Mm -hmm. Mary, what did you do when you lived in England? When cook. you were growing up, you were a cook? I, well, I, went, I was employed by uh, mostly title people, old lady elephant. We had a kitchen with a with chef and veg were made, kitchen made, and scullery made. About 22 servants and the men, all the men servants are all, all wore breeches, you know, short breeches with, with slippers. And they, they waited on the tables. Mm -hmm. And what did you do? You were a cook? Cook. Well, I, I was really what you call a vegetable maid because the chef, he wanted some, I forget now what vegetable it was. I think it was some kind of uh, cauliflower or marrow or something like that. And he, I was supposed to cook it because I was, I was then a vegetable maid. We had a vegetable kitchen, all for the, the regular kitchen. And I remember he was dishing up the, the things to send in the dining room. And he called for this, uh, whatever it was, I forget now, I think it was, it seems to me it was cauliflower. And it was all uh, copper pans that are all hung on, on the wall. and. Uh, he called for his, and uh, he said, he said, can't say what it was, uh, no good. He, he didn't speak very good English, and any, the floors, you know, had sand on them, stone floors with sand on And he went down and shot that copper pan up that kitchen, all oh, quite a ways. And, and I stood there, and he shot it back to me, and I turned around, and I took it, and I, it back. I said, time for no more. I said, this isn't time for any more. I remember that. I said, so I can see that thing sitting uh -huh. there. Uh -huh. How old were you when you went into service, Mary? Pardon? How old were you when you went into service? Uh, I was, uh, well, uh, uh, first of all, I went as a, what they call an in-between girl uh, in a big fan. It was uh, 21 servants. But that wasn't the elephants. I left there after I learned a little bit, and I was curry, uh, I was vegetable maid. There were 21 servants, and Lord and Lady Elephants. Uh, we had a chef in the kitchen, and that's uh, that's when the, when he called he, he called and wanted this vegetable. I almost forget what it was, cauliflower or something. In it, and. He said, cauliflower, no good. All the things and things was no good. And I reached out right there. The, the kitchen floor was all stone and yep. sanded. And I shoved back the pan back to him. And I said, time for no good. I said, time for no more. And he sweared a beer in his Italian. <laughs> I couldn't hear what he said. But I remember that quite well. Well, uh, what made you want to come to the United States? You had been working for the Lord and Lady. Uh, uh, Just decided to take a vacation? Well, yeah, 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 I really didn't intend to stay here when I came. But I met my husband that, uh, that he already was killed in the war. And I, we were married here in... in uh, he was American? Yeah, in America. He wasn't American. But he was a, he was a, in, in the he was in the in the, uh, in the navy. He was in, and uh, he was killed. Now that would be World War One. Yeah, right. Do you have any children? No. You have no children. How about your son? You have one son, right? He's not my son, is he? Yeah. Oh yes, that's right. He was born after I came back again. Right. Yeah. Right. As I came back from America, I went back to England. But I wasn't satisfied when I got back to England. I, I then made, took him as a child. He was, well, he was running around. Now I remember you. I just can remember that he was about three or four years old. And I can see him running around on that ship as we was coming back. My 
husband that, that I was married to, uh, he was there here in America waiting for, for, for me and my son to get off the ship. Really. So you did travel by ship even though you had a bad experience on the Titanic? Well, I, you know, uh, I, I'm a great one. I believe in what is to be, will be. We can't change it. Mm -hmm. We can't change it. Do you think that the good Lord had a reason for making you one of those 700 yeah, I people? Think, yeah, I think that uh, it was all, he had it all planned. Because he was an American, but he was killed. He was killed. Your husband, right. Mm -hmm. Right. Why do you think you were so lucky to sur be a survivor of the Titanic? Never really give it a thought, tell you the truth. I was so, uh, I was so taken with this country, how wonderful it was, and how good they were to people, uh, and to England, because England's a pretty, one, two, three, and you better stay where you belong Rigid over there. Rigid classes, yes, rigid classes. Classy. Mm -hmm. Classy, okay. <laughs> I love this country. What do you like about America the best? I think that I love America because they don't matter who you are, and, and if you're in one and they can help you, they do. Mm -hmm. I love America. Good, good. Well, Mary, what do you think about turning 102 in the next couple of months? It won't be 102 till May. May well, the that's 18th. a couple of months away. May the 18th is my birthday. Right. Got any words of wisdom for me? Pardon? Got any words of wisdom for me? No, I believe that uh, uh, if we're born with, it, with our full senses, faculties as they call it here, now, if you said we should do what we should do, we should know right from wrong, and always try to do to others as they ever do to you. That's how I've always lived. Do you keep yourself fairly active, Mary? Yes. Uh, what do you like doing? I love to cook. I always cooked, uh, even in, over in England. Uh, when I was employed by 22 servants, Lord and Lady Elephants, I was. Uh, I was then uh, in the, what they called a vegetable maid. I cooked all the vegetables. Mm -hmm. and I, uh, what do you do? You're now living here at Loretto Geriatric Center. What do you like to do here in the line of uh, activity? I've, I've worked since I've been here. I've been out cooking for different people since I've been here. In you America. have, eh? Yes. What do you do? What do you do with activities? Do you do any? Do you do uh, the arts and crafts? Well, I don't. Do you knit? I do. I'm knitting right now, and I. Uh, well, I always help other people if I can. If I know somebody that needs a little help, I, and I can help them, I do. I believe in doing to others as you would have them do to you. The old golden rule. Very good. I love this country. I love America. Very good. Uh, you see, what I like about here, they don't have that class distinction. In England, there's one, two, three classes. And you better stay where you belong or they'll soon put you there. Now, you were, you were in service, so what class would you be in if you were do in service for the ladies and lords of England? What class would well, you be in? First I, class or third I, class? I would, or? Uh, uh, of course, when, uh, it's three classes. There's a, the cook, and then there's a vegetable cook, and then there's the scullery girl mm -hmm. does all the dishes and clean up. Mm -hmm. I used to come, some, when I was first <laughs> the Lord and Lady Oliphants, I remember I, I was in the kitchen. I was, in the, I was vegetable made. And I, all the pans. Uh, all Did the you have to clean all those pans, Mary? Oh, yeah, all the copper pans hung on the wall around the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, I uh, got two or three that was kind of hard. So Mary, she didn't know it. She took them underneath the sink in the kitchen. 
And I was undressed and in bed. The housekeeper came upstairs, well, way up the, into the attic to the kitchen, to, to the where the servants' quarters was. I had to get up and dress and come down and clean up them pens before I could, before I could go to Couldn't bed. Couldn't get away without doing the pens that night, huh? Pardon? You, she wouldn't let you get away without doing the pans that night. You haven't done your work. You didn't do your work. You haven't finished your work. You get up and finish it. The housekeeper. Oh, boy. That's strict. Strict. Taught you good discipline, right? Well, that's their way of living. You're a servant over there. You're, if you're a servant, you're a servant. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But all the uh, three or four men servants wait on the table. I, we used to run up the back stairs, the stone, big stone staircase leading out from the kitchen. I used to run up there and look over the banister and, and watch them all go in for dinner uh, uh, with trains on and these diamonds on their heads. And oh, I've seen a lot of, it, of wealth. I had very little. I've never been so happy as I have been since I was in America. I love America. What did you do after you, you got married? Did you work? Uh, let me see now. No, I didn't work until after my son was born. Because mm -hmm. I got one son, of course, you know. Mm -hmm. he, was, uh, he was born here in America. But you didn't work after you got married. You more or less was a housewife, right? You yes. stayed at home and kept yeah. the house. And yeah, I don't remember. Uh, lived in an apartment, and my son, my husband, he he, he got in a painting business. He used to go to paint houses and you know outside, make mm -hmm. the house painter. But uh, I remember I can see my son now, little fellow running around in the apartment upstairs. He lived in a double house. I remember that quite well. And uh, he, he was he was just about about this high. And I can see him standing looking out the window, and he'd say, "It's a beautiful day today, Dad." Because the weather, my my son depends. My husband depended on the weather when it was good work. Right. Oh, that's going back a good many years. Mm -hmm. Mary, just a couple more questions about the Titanic. Um, when, after the Titanic went down, they offered claims. She never sunk. Yes, it did. It's gone. It sank right to the bottom of the ocean. You, that's the first I knew of it. I thought the other thing was I only thought she sprang a leak. Well, she had a 300-foot gash in her. She had a pretty good leak. Is that so? Did she really sink? She sank. As far as we but know, that, she that, sank. That's the first I knew of that. Mm -hmm. um, Mary, when, when they came to you to talk to you about the claims, you know, after the ship had sunk and you had arrived in America, and they came to talk to you about making your insurance claims, what did you do with that? Oh, I used to, I, uh, cause I, uh, I met my husband here uh, so long ago, and uh, cause my son was born, but I worked most of the time. I used to you know, cook. I used mm -hmm. to go out and cook, just mm -hmm. cook dinners, suppers, and we used to run out the back stairs and look over the banners and see them all going in. Her own trains on and big tiradas on their heads. Trains riders on. Uh, great, uh, 22 servants in case of milk. Mm -hmm. Mary, didn't you give up all your insurance claims from from the disaster to, well, I was, to the uh, children? I, to I, give to the children, the children who had lost their parents well, on board the child. ship? I had my no, no, on board the Titanic. Didn't you, didn't you give up all your insurance claims to allow that money to go towards the children so yeah, that they would so. have more yeah, money? I, I guess so, yeah. Because I worked a lot. When I, after I came here, I used to go out and cook dinners. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mary, I think we're going to stop talking for a little while here and relax a little. Okay, I thank you very much. Oh, that